Hey YouTube, this is Francis. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon on Saturday, uh, June 20th. And um, I just got home about half an hour ago. I went out to lunch and um, I sort of had a lunch date with a couple of young people from the Tampa area. And uh, anyways, a young man named Austin uh, contacted me via YouTube, Google Plus, and we exchanged phone numbers. And he's a young fella going to college up in North Carolina. And he's, he's uh, studying uh, for a biomedical degree. And uh, he has a female friend named... Um, Courtney. So they both drove up this morning for about three and a half hours from Tampa to Jacksonville and uh, they took me out for lunch. This was a, we talked about it a month ago and we finally, they had the time to come visit. So uh, we went to Carmen's Pie House. <laughs> And, uh, boy, you know, there's a lot of good things on the menu, so, um, I don't remember, I think he ordered some kind of sub, open face Italian sub, I don't know if it was meatball or what, I can't remember. But I had my Barbarossa Stromboli, and I had two pints of Jungling Lager beer, so, um. You know, I wanted to take them out, probably to Park Place Lounge, or because uh, Courtney said she likes to play billiards, like pool. So I figured, hey, we can hang out for a couple hours. And, you know, they're, they're, they're driving all the way back to Tampa. So, I mean, I wanted, it's like a seven-hour round trip, and I was thinking, gee, you know, I need to spend a few hours, and we can have some fun. But... I thought they were over 21. <laughs> As it turns out, the, the, both of them are under 21, and they can't drink alcoholic beverages. So I was like, oh, my God, you know. So anyway, and then I says, well, you can come in, um, and we could just play billiards, and you could order soft drinks. And they they really just wanted to go back to Tampa. Apparently they have a dinner date tonight to go somewhere else. So I was like, hmm. So I'm real thankful. They they drove up here and they uh, came up to the street where I live. And um, I was sitting out. They called me about five or ten minutes before they were going to get here to my address. And they picked me up and we went to Carmen's Pie House, ate, and they brought me back home. So it's really hot out. It's about 100 degrees, 95, 100 degrees. So I was considering going elsewhere um, for a beer or something. But after eating the Stromboli, I was totally satisfied and really didn't. Okay, I'll just go home. No, no big deal. So, so anyways, we had a good time. And um, since Austin has taken a biomedical degree, I figured he was interested. He, he found out about me on YouTube, and so we talked about um, some of my medical, medical issues. And I was kidding around with him. I said that I had already told my friend, some of my friends that uh, he was coming up here and that he was... I was his uh, biomedical research project. <laughs> he just laughed. I mean, I mean, he just came up to visit and socialize because he he likes me. He, he saw me on a YouTube video, so I gave him an invite. I says, "Well, listen, you know, I'm moving to South Carolina." I says, "You come anytime you're up in North Carolina, going to school." I says. We're going to be inviting you to barbecue or something. So uh, I'm sure I'm sure Debbie Lynn will approve. And um, so uh, anyway, so I had I had such fun. And, you know, and it turns out that both Austin and Courtney, they're like 
They're like 10 years younger than my two sons. <laughs> and tomorrow's Father's Day. So you know what? God is good, you know. I I uh, I was blessed. So so thanks again, Courtney and Austin. And um, personally, I think Austin has a thing for Courtney. And uh, well, anyways, let's just say it's a potentially budding relationship. <laughs> And I had a lot of fun. Oh, I had so much fun. You know, I mean, it was like 200 proof for you. You know, I was kidding with them. And they are such good spirited kids. Um, it was great. You know, it really was. And uh, so, so as I was leaving, I said, Hey, did you ever take one of those BuzzFeed quizzes and uh, stuff? And they said, Oh, yeah, we know what those are. And I says, Well, I took one and said I was like, uh, age 17. <laughs> so we had a few good laughs and then I got out of the car into like 95 degrees and then uh, Courtney was such a nice girl and she had moved from the front seat to the back seat so I could sit in the front you know so it was very nice of them. So very polite young people, very nice people to meet Francis had a good time, so I just wanted to uh, make this video and share the awesome lunch I had with two young people who are more 40 plus years younger than me. <laughs> you know, I'm 62 something, and 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 um, they're not even 21. <laughs> so, anyways. Um, I don't think Austin or Courtney ever met somebody like Francis. <laughs> so I actually asked him, I says, are, are your parents younger than me? And, and I guess they did. No, no, they're about the same age. So anyways, so we had a lot of fun, you know. I mean, Francis is young at heart. I, I don't think I ever grew up. I mean, I did you know, as far as being a responsible parent and everything. But I've always had, I've always kidded around and, and loved having fun and socializing with people. So uh, anyways, I've, I've belabored this enough eight minutes. So love you all. And, and for all my friends out there, I'll see you probably tonight in another hangout. <laughs> Okay, and Francis is making a carrot cake tonight. Okay, for tomorrow. All right. Looking forward to another carrot cake. <laughs> okay. Have a great weekend. And if I don't see you again, or you don't see me again, see ya.